Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 27 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about process engines again. Those of you that watch my videos might remember that in episode 16 of Lightroom Quick Tips, I gave a general overview about the process engines that are available in Lightroom. In that video, though, I really didn't give you any practical knowledge. I didn't explain why you might want to switch to a different process engine. In this video, I hope to give you at least one example of why you might want to try a different process engine. For an example, I have this image of this castle that's in Central Park in New York City. And as you could see, it's terribly underexposed. And what I did was I made a virtual copy. So right next to it, I have the exact same image. So we're going to be doing this work on the same image. Uh, just one is going to be a virtual copy. Now, first thing you're going to think, right, we need to open up these shadows, right? So we'll go to the basic panel and we'll go down to the shadows tab or slider, I should say, and we'll move that to the right. Now you can see it opened up the shadows okay, but if you look at the image, it kind of has this weird kind of tone map look to it. That's like an HDR look to it. And it wasn't an HDR shot. I shot it with a Fuji X-T1 camera. It was 1 2,200th of a second at f11 ISO 200 with a 23 mill millimeter lens. Just a single shot. So you can see it, it just has this kind of odd look to it. What a lot of professional photographers do, if they have an image where they have really, you know, shadows that are just so dark, they'll try a different process engine. And we're going to do that on this virtual copy. So we're going to close the basic panel. We're going to go down here to camera calibration. Now, those of you that didn't see episode 16, the process engines right here where it says process, and you can see there's three different ones, 2012, 2010, and 2003. What this is, is over the years, Lightroom has changed the algorithms that are used to uh, process your image, your images, your image whatever they've changed these algorithms so they've updated the process engine over these uh, years and from Lightroom 4 on up they've been using what they're calling the 2012 process engine so Lightroom 4, 5, 6 and CC prior to that they've used either of the other two I know in Lightroom 3 they used the 2010 process engine so we're gonna use that we're gonna click on that and right away you can see the image got darker so we're going the opposite way. You look at the 2012, then we go to 2010, and you can see it got darker. We're going to go up to the basic panel now, and you're going to see there's some differences here. We're not, we're missing the shadows, highlights, and white slider. You can see we just have now recovery, fill light, and brightness in their place. Now, for this image, we need some fill light. We have to fill in all this dark area here. So we're going to take the fill light slider and move it all the way to the right. Now, if you look at the image and then we compare it to the prior image, you can see how this looks flatter and it has that, I'm going to call it that HDR tone to it. This one looks to me a little more realistic. Now I admit this is subjective. I like it better. You might not, you might prefer this one. But what I would encourage you to do, if you have an image that has very dark shadows, you made a mistake and you, you terribly underexposed the image, and the typical 2012 uh, current uh, engine that's in Lightroom isn't cutting it, try a different uh, process engine and see if you get better or at least more pleasing results. Now, in this case, with this image, uh, we were walking around Central Park. I had two of my sons with me. They're right here. And since I am a photographer and always have a camera, they hate it. They hate me taking their picture. And if I asked them to stand in front of the castle, they'd just moan and groan and, you know, typical boys, right? So I tried to steal a picture. I was taking pictures somewhere else, and I came around, and uh, they were standing here, and I just took a quick shot, and I, you know, just terribly messed up the shot it was terribly underexposed so this is what I would do I would change my process engine and then I would uh, process it from here now you're gonna again you have some different sliders just experiment with them uh, you're gonna see the blacks in this image I wouldn't want to mess with it's gonna make everything darker recovery is going to bring more detail into the sky if I move it to the right you can see uh, so 
you know, again, just experiment. Uh, everything else should work pretty much as you're used to. All the other tabs will, will do the same. All right, that's it. Uh, thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. Um, if you guys didn't already, I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.